What is going on YouTube is saying we are back with another one and this drop coming to you guys a couple of plays and to bring to attention but before I kick things off if you'd like to help out the channel by hitting that like button because it keeps the show rolling. Alright guys you know what time it is now I am pumped because we're just moments away from kicking off another brand new week in these markets and as always guys it's another opportunity for us to continue building wealth making money in the stock market and as always I'm looking to put you guys one step ahead of the game and in this drop coming at you guys with four stocks that are set to explode so we can continue hitting success in your portfolios. So as always guys in this one I've got a jam packed one for you so let's run the first one. So we're going to kick things off here, that's Ford Motors, ticker symbol F. The last time we spoke about this play was back in March when this one was sitting around $12. So we've already made over 20% on our money on this play. I'll let you guys know there's more room to climb here. Now what we have on our hands is a legacy automotive play. And by adding them to the portfolio, it allows you guys to play the EV game from a different angle, bring a different dynamic to your portfolios. Because not only does this one have decades of experience in the automotive game, they also come in at a much cheaper point from a valuation perspective than other peers in the market. So that gives this one room to climb. That's why I'm expecting this one to close out the year at $20. Now at $15 where they're sitting right now, this is an underappreciated play in the market, often overshadowed by the newer plays in the game, okay? But what you guys gotta realize is, Sometimes you don't have to reinvent the wheel in these markets to continue hitting success and Ford Motors is one of these plays that is going to be a multi-year winner for us as they come out with new models and continue to scale in the EV market. So if you haven't already, you guys want to ensure this one's on your radar so we can get you guys hitting success in this play. Now in terms of entry on this one, they're sitting at 1520 as we speak. Ideally guys, you want to get them at 1450 or below. Now I'm expecting them to hit that mark over the next couple of weeks so just keep an eye out 1450 you guys already know set your limit buys at 1450 so when you hit that price point it can get you automatically into the play let's run the next one so the next one i've got for that ticket symbol wfc that's wells fargo now they've had a very good first half of the season and i'm expecting them to continue that momentum into the second half because as we continue to transition through reopening the demand for business credit and loans is going to increase playing into their favor. So I'm expecting to post up some phenomenal numbers when it comes to their reporting over the next couple of quarters. Now check this. Historically, we've seen this play in the 60s. And as I say, they're gonna be posting up great numbers and the business is just gonna be going from strength to strength. So I'm expecting to reclaim those types of levels in good timing. Now, also this week just gone, they passed their stress test. So you guys gotta be on the lookout for two things that's gonna increase that stock price. The first is share buybacks. And you guys know it's the opposite of these share offerings. When they're buying back that stock, it should be giving that stock price momentum. The second thing to be on the lookout for this play is an increase in their dividends. Both of these things are just gonna fuel that momentum and that stock price further. Also, with these banking plays across the board, they're some of the cheapest plays you can get in the market, okay? We're talking price to earnings ratios in the low teens. Whereas when it comes to the S&P 500 as a whole, average of that is in the 20s. So as I say, there's more room to climb in this one. So if you haven't already got your seat on this one, you guys gotta be on the lookout next week in the markets to make entry on this play. Ideally, you guys wanna get into this one below that $46 mark. So be on the lookout. If you catch them on a red day, that is your time to go grab yourself some Wells Fargo stock. It's gonna be one of your winning plays. The next one I've got for that ticket symbol DIS, that's Walt Disney. Now this is gonna be another one of your winning reopening plays. But if you look at that stock price right now, this one's sitting out on the bench. But as great managers that we are, we know that's the best time to pick up these star players when they're on the cheap. So if you guys haven't already done so, now's the time to be accumulating your position in this one because as we start to see better reporting from their theme parks, their movie studios, all of their reopening activities, business lines, this one is gonna see an increase in investor demand driving up that stock price. This is why I'm expecting this one to close out the year just above that $200 mark, which is great upside on the current stock price. Now, for my medium to longer term investors, it doesn't have to stop there because we know they've got their streaming side of the business as well. Now, this is gonna be a multi-year winning play for us because as they continue to scale and grow the streaming side of their business, that stock price is gonna to continue to tick up and move through the 200s. Our next play, that's ticker symbol IIPR, that's Innovative Industrial Properties. Now it's been about a month since we've spoken about this one and in that time, they put about nine, 10 points on the board, so they're on the move right now. Now what we have on our hands is what we call a REIT and these REITs give you exposure to that commercial real estate market. So if you don't already have any REITs in your portfolios, 
this is the one to go for because they're different to the other REITs in the game because they're faster moving because they have a growth element to them. Now this one over the last couple of months has just been held down like a ton of other growth plays out there in the market. But right now they're in breakout mode in touching distance of that $200 barrier. They're about to smash through that and continue their climb upwards. So I'm gonna put you guys on another multi-year winning play, okay? So this is a play that can add 50, 75% to your portfolios if you guys are just able to take that medium to longer term mindset with this one, as I say, that underlying industry that they operate in is just going to continue to grow, evolve and scale. And it's another play for us to hit success in. All right, guys, so those are the plays I've got for you in this one. Now, if you've been rocking with the channel, you know what time is. The question is RVLV revolve to the moon. So let's dive into this one. I'm going to throw up Revolve, ticker symbol RVLV. This one's sitting at $69. This is one of our smash hit plays at the moment. On the week, they put 14 points on the board. On the last month, they put 37 points on them. We're sitting at a return of over 44% in this one. Now, I assume your question is about should we be selling out this play given we've hit major success in them. Now, I'm going to introduce you guys to what I call the transfer window. This is the price point at which is an opportunity to start taking profit or selling out of these plays. Now the transfer window on Revolve begins at $70. So they're in touch and distance of moving into that transfer window when they start climbing up the 71, 72, that's the opportunity to take profit from these plays. Now you guys know it's all about hitting those realized returns on these plays at some point in time in the future, okay? Now I say every play runs its own race. We have a play like a Revolve leading the charge. We have plays like Roku and others come in second place and we have tons of other plays in the pipeline which will soon start generating the same level of return so you guys want to start thinking and being mindful about your exit strategy on these plays now all of us investors have different time horizons some of you guys are going to be in it for the short to medium term that's absolutely fine some of you guys are going to be more long-term investors you guys got to know in the stock market it's a tool to make money short medium term or build wealth the longer term so if you want to take money out of the stock market and use it to go and buy your first home or your first car, that's absolutely fine. I salute that. That's a major win because you've hit success in these markets. If you want to build wealth in the markets, that's great as well. Now with Revolve, what you guys got to realize is this is a play that I'm expecting to be majorly fueled by reopening. Okay, so when they start clocking in their Q2, Q3, Q4 results, I'm expecting an even greater uplift in that stock price, right? So give it that fuel, that demand will start surging into the stock. So even though they're in the transfer window, I'm not gonna be selling out of this play at that point in time. I wanna see what they start producing in the later courses of the year because I'm expecting further fuel to the fire on this one. But as I say, transfer window stops at $70, so it's an opportunity to start trimming profits from that level. All right, guys, that wraps up for this one. If you've got any questions for me, leave them down below and I get back to you. I wanna say I appreciate you guys. On your way out, light up that comment section for me. If you're new, join the movement. Now, ahead of tomorrow's opening bell on the stock market, let's go.